Close form pricing à la Black Scholes is only available for simple products in simple models. With more realistic transactions and more complex models, pricing involves numerical methods like Monte Carlo. This is too slow for many risk management applications. 20 years ago, Pat Hagan cracked an accurate approximation for European calls in the SEBOR model, bringing stochastic volatility to trading desks. Today, we want to generalize and automate this approach and learn pricing approximations for arbitrary payoffs and arbitrary models online in real time with convergence currencies. This is what we achieved in our working paper, Differential Machine Learning, available on ArcSieve. First, simulate a training set a la Longs of Schwartz, where training inputs are initial states and training labels are final payoffs. Then, train your pricing machine on this data set. You can reproduce this result with a TensorFlow notebook on GitHub. We have a mathematical guarantee that a universal approximator like a neural network, trained by minimization of a mean squared error between these labels and the predictions of a network, converges to the correct pricing function, which is the conditional expectation of a payoff. That is when both the capacity of the approximator and the size of a training set grow to infinity. Proof is given in Appendix 1 on GitHub, the intuition being that the true price is the expectation of a payoff, hence payoffs are unbiased estimates of prices with independent noise. Looking at the 30 stock basket option example for the demonstration TensorFlow notebook on GitHub, we notice effective convergence towards the correct pricing function, but it takes hundreds of thousands of examples to achieve an accurate approximation. Predicted deltas follow the same pattern, but converge a lot slower. The network struggles to learn the shape of a pricing function from punctual examples. Training on large datasets is unrealistic in situations of practical relevance. We took inspiration from the field of computer vision, where data augmentation takes one label picture and makes many by cropping, zooming, rotation, or recolor, effectively increasing the data sets for zero cost, reducing variance without introducing a bias. Data augmentation teaches the machine important invariances, and we took similar steps with differential labels. We now explicitly teach the machine the shape of a pricing function with the differentials of labels with respect to training inputs. We minimize a composite cost function combining the classic MAC between value labels and value predictions with the MAC between differential labels and differential predictions. Differential predictions are sensitivities of value predictions with respect to inputs and they are computed by classic back propagation. In other terms, we traverse a twin network, first with feedforward inference, then backprop, to predict a value and all its sensitivities for twice the cost of value alone. How about differential labels? There are sensitivities of labels with respect to inputs, that is, sensitivities of final payoffs with respect to initial states, and they are computed in the simulation engine. In Black and Scholes, the final payoff is ST2 minus K plus, and the initial state is ST1. The pathwise differential is DST2 minus K plus DST1, and I can compute it by an application of a chain rule. This is DST2 minus K plus DST2 times DST2 DST1, and I get a concise formula. I can compute the pathwise differential very efficiently, together with a payoff, a longer path, without needing to regenerate the path. It is also a random variable, and its expectation is N of D1, the Black and Scholes delta. This key property carry over to arbitrary models and payoffs provided appropriate smoothing. First, pathways differentials are always computed with an application of a chain rule with analytic accuracy and very efficiently together with a payoff. I don't need to compute it by hand. Automatic adjunct differentiation or AAD performs the computation for me automatically behind the scenes. Secondly, risk sensitivities are expectations of pathways differentials because expectation and differentiation operators commute. Hence, pathways differentials are unbiased estimates of true risk risks, just like payoffs are unbiased estimates of true prices. Compare with Tikhonov regularization, which penalizes large weights. Differential regularization penalizes incorrect differentials. Like Tikhonov, it prevents overfitting and reduces variance. Unlike Tikhonov, it doesn't introduce a bias and is virtually insensitive to regularization strength. Hence, it doesn't have a bias variance trade-off. Differential labels are unbiased estimates of true sensitivities, hence training on differentials alone converges to an approximation with all the correct sensitivities, that is, the correct function modulo an additive constant. Reverting to the basket option from the TensorFlow notebook on GitHub, we see a stellar improvement both for price and delta approximations, so we can train accurate approximations on small datasets simulated in realistic time. The results seamlessly carry over to real-world situations. This is 
is an autocollable simulated with four correlated local volatility models with a classical network trained on 32,000 examples and a differential network trained on only 8,000 examples. And this is one of Danske Bank's netting sets simulated in our proprietary XVA model with a classic network trained on 64,000 examples and a differential network trained on 8,000 examples. The complete presentation is available on deepanalytics.org. Thank you for your attention.